So why should you care about learning AutoHotKey, right? What can AutoHotKey do? The question should be more like, what can it do? In, in Windows, now it's only a Windows-based program. And for the most part also, by the way, it runs in Windows 10, 8, 7. I still have an XP machine. I can fire it up and run stuff on that. So it can automate a lot of different versions of Windows and so many things in Windows. I put together a list here to talk through real quickly. It does even more, right? It, it's just, I consider it the Swiss Army knife for Windows. It's an amazing tool for doing stuff with Windows. So there's, first off, just connecting to the Windows API. An API is an application programming interface, right? That's a way you can programmatically interact with Windows in many of its GUIs and controls and, and actually pull information out of Windows, just depending on what you're doing. It's, it's an amazing amount of stuff you can do with it. Hotkeys are a super simple, easy to use tool for remapping keys. So if you don't like the key combo that you have to hit in your certain program, you can remap it or you can automate having it where I hit a couple keys and it will launch a program for me. Or there's many things you can do with them. Uh, hot strings or text expansion is another great one where I can type a couple letters and bam, it expands into paragraphs if I want, you know, whatever you want. File and folder manipulation. So there is a ton of stuff that you can do. Even one is just editing files like text files and stuff or creating your own files, but also moving files around and backing them up for you, automatically copying things, writing little programs to, to do these things for you can save an awful lot of time. Accessing the clipboard. There's a lot of stuff. Now, I, there's more advanced ways to do this, but it's often you can just send to copy whatever is highlighted, do stuff to it, and then send it into a different program, right? So you can copy it into the clipboard. It's an easy way to pull it in if you can't programmatically interact with it, and then manipulate however you want the stuff in the clipboard, and then push it back out to whatever other program you want it to do. You can connect to a lot of Windows-based programs using COM. That's just Microsoft's component object model. So things like Excel and Outlook and PowerPoint and Word, you can automate programmatically. It's very similar to using VBA, and the code is actually very similar to it. But you can programmatically do your automation in it. It's one of my favorite things to do because in the corporate world, right, there were so many things that used Microsoft's Office programs, and you can automate a ton of that stuff. You can also connect to controls like a radio checkbox, you know, those kind of things. You can automate that or just GUIs and you can automate clicking those things or getting checking if they are clicked or not clicked, setting their values, setting sending text to an edit field. You can automate a lot of that stuff. There's these things called the post and send messages. A lot of programs see programs were to, you know, have all been developed by different people over, you know, 30 years and they have different interfaces. Auto Hotkey connects to the vast majority of them. They go through them differently, right? So you have to learn the different approaches, but it can programmatically do it instead of just sending mouse clicks and keystrokes, which if all else fails, you can default to that one. So th there's that, the automating menu. So older ones like Notepad have that menu at the top, right? That's um, kind of like this, but these are a little different. This is a different ribbon. This is doable in Auto Hotkey, but it's pretty advanced. And so far we don't have a good library for it yet, but it's, it'll, I'm sure it'll be coming. Then the Windows registry, if you wanted to constantly set your, your registry or check it or update it or you know remove something from it, you can automate that with AutoHotKey. Text manipulation, as I mentioned earlier, you can go in and read the file, look for certain text, delete certain things, or you can do regular expressions, which are super powerful. I'm gonna do an advanced course at some point on regular expressions with AutoHotKey because it's such a great tool. I have a lot of the stuff on my site for free, by the way. If you go to the-automator.com, you can see uh, examples of, especially the, the regex stuff. I got a full page on that. There's a lot of stuff on using Calm. Then uh, connected to web service. That's another one I have on my site too. There's over, I'd say over 20,000 open APIs out there. They're called web service APIs. And these are online things that you connect to and you do a HTTP request to them, generally speaking. And you can send and retrieve data from these online servers. It's a great way to interact. A lot of you are using tools that your vendors have, they have APIs and you don't even know they exist. And it's so much faster than using like a, a browser to click buttons and do stuff. You can automate that process. And it's the, the time you take to do that stuff is, is nothing compared to what it takes if you're using a GUI. So it, it's a great way to do it. Um, and you can also create amazing GUIs in AutoHotKey. Um, a lot of you probably watch my channel and you'll see Maestrieth, the author of AutoHotKey Studio, which is written in AutoHotKey, right? The whole editor is built in AutoHotKey for AutoHotKey, and it's what we'll be using in this course. But it AutoHotKey can create some really good, powerful GUIs, and it's pretty simple to create them compared to other languages. So I hope that gets you interested and excited. I get really excited when I start doing the stuff. And this is why I'm creating these courses as I love teaching people how to automate stuff. And I just want you guys to, to soak it up and automate your worlds away. All right. Cheers.